Hi there, welcome to this quick tutorial on the Eliminator game, a PowerPoint game from Tutor to You. Now it's a straightforward concept, it's a multi-choice quiz, there are going to be 10 questions, each question has two possible answers, one correct, one incorrect, and your students are going to be looking on screen and attempting to answer them. It's called the Eliminator game because students are eliminated out of the quiz if they get an answer wrong. So it's a case of how many students can you get from question 1 through to question 10 and not get eliminated by getting an incorrect answer. OK, before you start you're going to need 10 questions and you've got a table on slide 3 which enables you to put your questions into the PowerPoint resource. So input your questions in this second column, a correct answer in the third column and one incorrect answer in the fourth column. The computer randomly puts the correct and incorrect answers as either A or B throughout the game. Once you've done that, the next thing you're going to need is a method for enabling your students to answer either A or B. OK, throughout the game your students are going to be answering either A or B to each question. How you get them to actually indicate which one they're going for is up to you. In the PowerPoint resource you've got a couple of slides that allow you to print out some A and B cards, print them out, cut them up and give them to each student. You can get students to put up their left hand for answer A, their right hand for answer B if you want, or just one hand up for answer A and keep the hand down for answer B, or you can use mini whiteboards. That's up to you. OK, when I've been running this game then I start by getting all of the students to stand up. You don't have to do that, but it is one way of making the game a little bit more engaging. Have them all stood up, ready with their A and B cards, ready to answer the questions. So let's go to the first question by clicking on Start Game. There's the question, there's the possible answers. Give your students a few moments to think about it. And then you're going to ask them to raise their A or B cards, their left hand, whatever method that you're using. Now be very careful when you do this to make sure you coordinate that so you don't get some students looking around to see what answer they should give based upon another student who they've got a bit more confidence in. So I would say let's put up our cards on the count of three. Three, two, one, ask students to put up their cards. Then we can show the answers. So in this case, the answer is answer B. And I'd ask all students who put up answer A to sit down. They are now eliminated out of the quiz. Move on to question number two and go through the same process again. Read out the question, allow them a few moments to have a think, coordinate them putting up their cards, ask them to put them up the cards, show the answer, eliminate anybody who answered with the answer B. OK, hopefully you get at least a few students through to the question 10 uh, and get them to answer that one. It may be worth you having a tie break question, just in case you get to the end and you've got more than one student right at the end, just a way of separating them out. OK, I hope you enjoy the Eliminator game. 